Hello everybody and welcome back to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Tracing. Thank you guys so, so much for coming back and joining me. I know it's been a pretty good while since I've uploaded, but it feels good to be back. Uh, tonight we've got full moon rising. You may can see it here behind the, just behind this tree. But uh, I haven't shot a full moon in a very, very long time here on the channel. And tonight I'm planning on doing that with a really simple setup here using my 8 inch Skywatcher Dobsonian telescope and a DSLR camera. I'm going to go ahead and apologize ahead of time too. We're coming up here on the 4th of July and I'm sure you can hear fireworks going off all around me right now. I'm going to do my best to kind of film around all the noise but so far it's not working out too well for me. So I'll just do my best to try and speak up. There's another one right there. But yeah guys, it's been a pretty good while since I've really uploaded anything here on the channel. Uh, there's been a lot going on in the world as all of you guys know. And uh, really, it just made it hard for me to focus on much of anything, honestly. And uh, that I know that's not really an excuse or anything like that. But uh, really, all I'm saying is, while all this is going on, focus not only on your physical health, but your mental health as well. Because, it, in my opinion, it is just equally as important. But yeah, with all that being said, be sure to subscribe down below that way you guys don't miss out on anything whatsoever I know videos here on the channel are few and far in between but I like to look at it as quality over quantity so with all that out of the way let's go ahead and start getting things set up here So tonight, as I was saying, we got a full moon rising. Well, not technically 100% full, but as you can see here looking at the moon phase out, it is 98% full, which to me that's close enough. But yeah, pretty simple game plan tonight as always. Um, if you guys have been here for a while, I'm sure you've seen me do this a million times by now. But um, yeah, it's gonna be hooking up the DSLR camera here straight to the Dobsonian telescope just by screwing it on and putting on a T-ring. And uh, along with that, I'm also going to be taking a few videos, I guess, using my Orion 3X Trimag Bartle lens and my Celestron 2X Bartle lens as well. Just so you can kind of see uh, some different craters and everything and see the different uh, focal lengths with those Bartle lenses. But I'm going to be doing my pictures itself, just uh, straight through the Dobsonian, uh, no Bartle lenses or anything like that. I'm planning on taking a good handful of photos and going in and stacking all of them together and hoping, hoping to reduce the noise and pull out uh, more definition. Alright, the moon is out now from behind the trees and you can see it here just right behind me. And boy, it is bright tonight. So I'm hoping this leaves you some really good photos. And like I mentioned earlier, it's really muggy and I'm going to imagine the atmosphere has probably got some pretty serious turbulence to it. So I'm planning on taking a lot of pictures and just to ensure that I don't bump the setup here while I'm doing everything I'm going to use my trusty old remote shutter release cable here and hope for the best. I'm going to go ahead now get the camera attached to the scope so we can go ahead and get started. Okay, now I've got my camera attached. I'm just going to show you guys uh, some video straight through the scope itself. No Bartle lens or nothing. So this is going to be a 1200 millimeter focal length right here. And uh, in my opinion, that's really about the perfect focal length, give or take a little bit, uh, when photographing the moon. Because it just takes up so much of the frame and you can just get so much great detail with this setup right here. Now I know there's other, you know, much more expensive setups and everything out there that you can get miles better pictures, and these are going to be good, you know, but no main try here. Uh, everything I did on here is pretty basic, but so far I've been really happy with the results. And uh, like I said earlier, it's been a long time since I photographed a full moon. In fact, I think the last time I did was the New Year's Eve super moon in 2018. So it's been a couple of years now, and I'm excited to do some more work with it tonight. But yeah, I'll shut up now and go ahead and get this started. 
All right, guys, and this is live footage straight through my Canon T5i right now. And you can see the moon is just absolutely stunning tonight. It's been a long time since I've seen a full moon through this telescope right here. For the longest time, I've always really preferred shooting like crescent moons and things like that because I've always really preferred the shadow, being able to see all the shadows of the craters and everything because I feel it creates for more of a dynamic photo, really. But man, I'm really looking forward to getting to work on this. And I'm pretty excited to pull out the Barlow lenses, too. I'm sorry, I gotta... If you see the moon moving around, so much as me adjusting the telescope, trying to keep it in frame. But man, it is really something else tonight. So currently, my settings for my camera is I'm at uh, 100 ISO, and uh, it's looking like I'm gonna be shooting around uh, one two hundredth of a second, maybe give or take a little bit. But I'll let you guys know once I get ready to start shooting my photos. Alright guys, I'm now filming the back of my Canon T5i, which is the camera attached to my telescope. And I'm sorry here that I'm kind of be adjusting it some, but I'm doing the best I can. But you can see, I am shooting it in raw mode. Thank goodness I've had some debacles in the past where I forgot to put the camera in raw mode before shooting. If it's not, I should be good to go. So I'm actually going to adjust my uh, shutter speed here a little bit and slow it down some and go here and you can actually see the moon right now in frame that's a live view of the moon it looks a lot brighter here on the screen than it actually is so i'm actually going to go in and change my shutter speed a little bit more brighten it up somewhat okay i'm really liking what i'm getting here now at 1 2 50th of a second i'm going to take another shot here you can see the histogram right here. It seems to be in a pretty good spot. I'm not blowing out anything, it doesn't really seem like. But to here. Yeah, it seems like a pretty good place. So I'm probably gonna go ahead now and start uh, shooting my shots. I've got all my pictures shot now, and I've got at least 75 pictures at the bare minimum, which should be uh, more than enough to get a good uh, final stat going. Um, again, sorry for all the fireworks going off in the background right now. Naturally, you may see some going off here behind me in a second. But um, yeah, I'm really happy so far with how all those are looking. The 1 250th of a second seems to be the really sweet spot for this scope because if I'm not mistaken, that's roughly where I shot uh, my last video of the crescent moon, which I'll link up above right now. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, take my camera off and go ahead and put on this T adapter, which screws it straight onto the T ring that I mentioned earlier. And this T adapter here is what allows me to attach my Bartle lenses to my camera and then insert that into the scope. That way we can get some much more up close uh, video of the moon. So let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, now this is with the Celestron Omni 2X Bartle lens attached. I'm just going to kind of pan the scope around the moon the best I can here. Try and be smooth with it. That's a little bit easier said than done. And as you can see, actually there, there's some clouds starting to move in. Uh, so I'm going to have to make this pretty quick.
now this is with the Orion Trimag 3x bottle lens you see this takes us in really really close here it's really cool seeing the full moon with this Unfortunately, that's going to be all I can get tonight really with the uh, Bartle lenses because I've got some really substantial cloud cover that's about to start moving in from the west now. But yeah, I think all in all, I had a pretty successful night. Um, I'm glad I went ahead and got the pictures done as early as I did. Um, I'm really excited to get to work on them tomorrow and I will pick back up filming then. So until then, you guys have a good night and we will see you in the morning. Alrighty guys, here we are the next day now, and I've already got all of my photos imported into Lightroom here, and so far they're looking really, really good. Like clarity wise, like my focus seems like it was really, really on point once it loads up here in a second. Yeah, everything's looking really good with them. Um, at first I attempted to stack all my images in uh, Linkios or Linkios, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. I mispronounced pretty much everything, so let's go ahead and get used to that. But um, the program that I use uh, for stacking my planetary images, and uh, I didn't really like how the outcome looked. It was a little bit blurry around the edges. I'm still kind of figuring out that program anyways. So instead, I went ahead and put them into Nebulosity here. And what I did was the automatic, uh, non-stellar automatic alignment, which I've had really, really good success with in the past. But unfortunately, the only thing with that is it takes forever. And I mean, for ever. My poor computer hates me, I'm sure, for this. Oh well. As long as it doesn't crash out on me, I've had it going here for a pretty good while now, and it's been fine so far. So hopefully tonight, sometime, uh, I should uh, have all my images aligned and everything. And once I have them aligned, I will go back in and then stack them and do all my processing from there. So uh, now let's just wait. Okay, so finally, that was a big one. As you can see right now, the weather outside is pretty crazy. Uh, so, it's going to be no shooting today, it doesn't look like. So, I'm glad I went ahead and got these images out of the way the other night. But finally, at around 1.30 last night, my images in Nebulosity were finally all aligned and everything. So, I was able to finally let my computer rest for a while. Thankfully, it didn't catch on fire or nothing. And uh, it still seems to be working pretty good today. But, um... Uh, most of the morning so far, I've been playing around in Photoshop. I've got actually two final images I'm going to show here at the end of the video. One is just the basic, um, you know, full moon, you know, over just a sea of black as you would normally see it. And then over here, I've got another one I've been playing around with. I've got an old wide field shot uh, back from a couple years ago, just uh, just superimposing the moon over a sea of stars. I think it's kind of a cool look, but you can tell, you know, I've definitely edited it and everything, but. I don't know, it's just something I'm kind of playing around with. Uh, you guys critique it all you want to down in the comments below. 
But yeah, uh, 75 images stacked is definitely overkill. I'm pretty sure whenever it comes to the moon, I'm never going to take that many again. So maybe like 30 or 40 will be a better, better route next time. But I was just happy to be out back underneath a um, clear night sky, really. As I was saying at the start of the video, uh, mentally here lately, it's things have been draining and I just haven't really focused, I guess, if you will, on anything like this. And it was nice just being out there, just clear my mind and being able to get back to doing what I love doing the most. But yeah, that's about it for this. I'm really happy with how all the moon looks here. It's hands down the best, best lunar shot I've gotten so far. But anyways guys, as always, thank you all so much for watching and if you haven't yet again, please be sure to subscribe down below and uh, hit the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out next time I do upload. So with all that being said, I'm going to kick back now and watch the rain come down and hope for another clear night sky. So until next time guys, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoy.